In this video, we finally show you the crazy transformation of our home office and give you a full tour around it. And we also bring you along on a fun family weekend with us and our boys. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit subscribe and help us reach 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. What is up everyone? Welcome to the video. You're joined as the twins are stealing Ellen's breakfast. This is a regular occurrence. They'll eat their breakfast, then they want a snack. Then they want mum's breakfast, don't you? <laughs> also, look how sunny it is today. We are blessed with the sunshine on this autumnal day. If autumn was like this all, all the time, I'd be very happy. The boys are on the mend. Noah has had a uh, hand, foot and mouth. For the third time. For the third time, so it's been rough in the house. Ari hasn't caught it yet though. Noah! Ari hasn't caught it yet though, which is literally unheard Noah. of. Touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. Noah. But Noah came out in symptoms a week ago, so I have instant regrets. Noah. No. Let oh mummy eat you. Can you see that rocket out there? Look. <laughs> <laughs> look, you can see around his mouth, his spots are now like they're all scabbed up now. You've got your spots on your hands, haven't you? Show daddy where your spots are. Yeah. Good boy. Good manners. <laughs> Right, no, oh, crap. we've just washed this. Oh my goodness, no. And this is why we don't buy new sofas, guys. So plan today is we are now gonna take the boys to their favorite toddler class. And then we are gonna come back and I'm gonna show you my office. We're gonna reveal the office finally, even though it's not completely done. I decided I can't wait anymore. I'm gonna show you the renovation, show you the full transformation because it is crazy extremely happy with it and then we're just going to bring you along on the weekend for us. I think tomorrow the boys are going to get their hair cut at home again because it's been a while and yeah it's just going to be like a nice family weekend. Do you want to show your new spoons? Look, look past daddy your spoon. Elle bought them their own little toddler spoons. Look it's got a teddy bear on it. Can you see? They were getting to the stage where they didn't want to use their baby cutlery but adult cutlery was too big so these are absolutely ideal we'll link them below if you've got toddlers that are wanting to use cutlery have a sip have a sip right we're back no okay yeah you can have I a can. bite we're back home now um the boys absolutely loved their baby class they're just having their lunch now before they go up for a nap and in their nap you're going to do your office and yeah you're going to help go me for a runny run no run. you've got to help me film it because it's your office too. Nice. Yes, it is. You work in there every week. Who was doing voiceovers in there this morning? Hey, <laughs> you. Are you gaslighting? I'm not gaslighting. No, it happened. <laughs> Look at this, by the way. The autumn sweet jar is looking healthy. very good. Yeah, healthy, but not healthy. <laughs> Look at this. Believe it or not, this has been filled up three times already. We probably shouldn't be admitting that, should we? A company called... You pick, was it? You, you pick, pick, we, we mix. mix. Very kindly sent us two one kilo bags. Um, one was fizzy, one was normal. And yeah, we've been working our way through them. Would not recommend having a sweet jar on show in the kitchen because... You're the worst. I swear for breakfast, lunch and tea, all you have is sweets. They compliment my meals. <laughs> Guys, please tell me this is normal. Like this amount of washing for a few days. Like, how do people keep on top of this? I swear, our washing basket is always full. And this is, not even joking, guys, this is about four days, five days worth of washing. It's absolutely ridiculous, and I've got four more loads to do. Right, it's office time. I'm going to hand you over to my camera lady runner, slash runner, marathon runner. I was not expecting to be on camera. Well, wow. right, first off, what is this door? Awful is what it is. It's on our list of things to do, isn't Yeah, it? this is it's not like changed. Random door in the house. It is so random. There are still things that need to be done in this office, but before we go in and show you what it's like now, let's just have a look at what it looked like when we first moved in, when I first started this. It was an absolute mess. I had to clear everything out of it. Previously, it was an extended outside room that they turned into like a bar. It was just, yeah, not what I wanted it, but I knew that it had potential. So it took a lot of work to get it to where it is now. Let's go in and have a look. Woo! Okay, so let's have a walk around and I will talk you through the things that we've done and how we've got here. So 
Starting off, let's go for the main thing. So this brick wall, when we first moved in, was like one of the things I was like, yes, sick. I've always wanted an office with exposed brick, but it was in an absolute shit state when we moved in. There was like holes all in the, what's that stuff called? Like, uh, Mortar? I don't know. There was holes all in that stuff. Apparently they were bee, bees? Mortar bees that actually tunnel in. But it was just, yeah, it looked awful. So my brother came and he scraped it all out, which took absolutely ages. It was the messiest job on the planet. Um, took a couple of days to do that. He then repointed it all with this lime mortar. I mean, if I'm sorry if that's the wrong word, but it looks really cool. It's like a light washed effect. Um, he's never done it before, so we completely winged it. And I think he's done an amazing job. Looks really, really good. It looks so much better than it was. So that's there. I am going to be putting shelves on the wall, like the shelf we've got in the kitchen. I'm going to put a big scaffold board shelf along there. There'll be pegboards, skateboard decks. None of the decorating is done yet. So basically you won't be able to see the brick at all? Yeah, you will. You will, you will. <laughs> then next, let's talk about the flooring. With the flooring, originally I wanted to do like a poured concrete floor. But when I looked into it, it was just a bit of a faff and it was quite expensive to get like a polished look. But then I walked into B&Q and I saw that they had literally just got this floor in, which is like a concrete effect. I think it was reasonably priced. It cost about £200 for the underfloor and for this floor in for this room. Again, my brother fitted it. He's done a lot. He's pretty much done this whole office with my dad and me. So massive thanks to those guys. Then if we look up. So this ceiling, before it was all glass all along and we decided to kind of block it off, put in a new skylight and just keep one big panel so that we still had lots of natural light coming in but we weren't getting too hot in the summer, too cold in the winter. As a video editor, there was just too much light coming in and it was like glaring on my it's screen. It's worked, hasn't it? It's not so hot or cold in here anymore, it's no, nice. No, it is, it's insulated. We put insulation on there so it should keep it nice and warm. So I've covered the wall and the ceiling in chipboard OSB, OSB board, which is really, like inexpensive to do kind of regret it because one it's a pain in the bum to paint yeah. really annoying to paint and two it does kind of look a little bit cheap i think like i was it just looks very rustic doesn't it it does it does look rustic but i think when i've got decorations up you won't see it decorations that sounds like it's christmas but when i've got stuff on the walls you won't see it as much uh, but it does look cool it um, i like the texture of it this door was already here but it was brown painted it black looks so much better cool thing about this door which i didn't realize we were going to block this up and then my brother found the key for it it opens that way or if you put the handle up it opens that way which i think is a really really cool feature so in the summer I can open the door up. These were already here, these like sliding doors, they go through to the boys' playroom. Definitely need to get some blinds on there because they just go, daddy, 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 all day, which is cute, but when you're trying to get work done. I got these lockers from Wayfair. They look cool, but they were a pain in the bum to make and it was quite expensive for, well, what were they, 100, 100 quid, I think, I which actually is not that bad, but the build quality is not the best, but they do look exactly how I wanted them to. I've lost his absolute mind trying to build I it. did, yeah, yeah. You, if you watch the vlog, you probably would. It was when I lost my wedding ring as well. Oh, oh it's in the car. It's in the gym bag. <laughs> it's in gym. This bin, right, bought this from B&M, but it was originally silver and I just sprayed that black because I couldn't find a black bin, but I think that looks Oh my goodness, cool. it's like Blue Peter on It's like Blue here. Peter, yeah. You got a badge okay. for me or not? Now moving on to probably my favorite part of the office. Again, there's a lot of work to do to this, but it will be insane when it's completed. So I wanted a coffee corner. In fact, I didn't want a coffee corner. This was one of those things before, I'll try and flash up a photo. There was like a radiator there. There was gutters on it on show. So what we did is we boxed it off as you can see here, it's like boxed in. This is where the gutter was. I'm gonna be putting hanging plants all here to kind of add some color. And we've turned the radiator into a coffee corner. So this is all boxed in. That's why there's holes there because I've got some vents coming. So yeah, this idea kind of came to life as we were doing it. So it's not perfect, but I know it will be very, very cool. So my friend Josh has done some custom artwork on here, which I'm so, so, so happy with. I always knew I wanted something, some graphics in the office and he absolutely nailed that. It's got me and the boys, Bedard's Bean Coffee Club and the boys love coming in and pointing out where they are on there. We've got this lovely oak 
Worktop, which we managed to get hold of for free, which is ideal, absolutely ideal. So this was cut to size and put on here. This is where a manual coffee setup is gonna go when I can actually afford to get one. But yeah, very excited for that. And then we have got tiles, which my dad, you, you got a watch where you're pointing. That was the worst videographer. I can just slowly see her drifting. Like I just went for classic white Metro tiles with black grout. My dad did this for me, very, very happy. This is gonna look amazing when I dress it. I'm gonna get like, what? When you dress it? Yeah. Do you know what guys? I'm actually toying with the idea of making my own YouTube channel to do like more coffee, videography, skateboarding type of videos. Boring. <laughs> look, stop being a hater. We have got this paneled wall really really glad i decided to do this because it breaks up the osb board and that makes it look more like a room makes it look a bit more luxurious and why are you laughing why are you laughing at me and i've been on a few calls whilst i'm in here and, and people have been like where are you that looks really cool so i'm happy with that wow. um, and the acoustics actually they're like sound panels so they help when we're doing voiceovers and stuff like that by the way, Ellen likes to say this isn't her office, but what were you doing in here the other week? Yeah. Tell, tell them what you were doing, I was sat doing on there. No, 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 no. You were clipping your toenails <laughs> all over my floor. Yeah, I was. Right? So every week she comes and joins me in here and does <laughs> stupid shit, yet she won't be involved. And then up here, again, my friend Josh has painted my favourite quote step by step, day by day. This is a print from Decenio, actually, that we had up in our old house. We've got it in our house now. And it's just something that, whilst we were doing our social media and stuff like that, is something that I looked at every day. So I love having that up there. And then we've got this coffee table from Wayfair, which you can also use under here as like a mini desk, which is handy. This armchair, really, really happy with this. This is from FlexiSpot. They very kindly gifted this, along with my chair, which is very dusty. That needs you a wipe. Need that, and right? my desk, they, they gifted me all of these and I'll speak about these properly in a future video. And then come over here, assistant. Within this little cove, we didn't really know what to do, but my brother has cut scaffold board shelves for some storage in the corner there, which is nice because they are tucked away. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with this brick wall yet, that's undecided. Okay. Oh, down lights, we installed down lights in the ceiling, um, which helps. I, lighting wise, I'm gonna get some more standing lamps and stuff and some strip LED lighting and things like that. On this wall, I'm gonna do a pegboard charging station. So all of my camera kit, gimbals, I haven't actually got that much stuff, but all <laughs> I was gonna list it all, but I've not got that much stuff. Yeah, can be charged here all in one place and there'll be like a storage system. But like I said, as this progresses, I will show you the final thing. I just needed to get this video out basically because it's driving me mad not being able to film in here. And people are actually asking me, so. I was also the slowest person ever at getting DIY done. I am slow, but, <laughs> but, but because I- you, you can- you. That's the office. Let me know what you think in the comments. The transformation from before is wild, to be honest. Like, because, because this has been like this now for a couple of months, I'm kind of used to it, but looking back at old footage, it was an absolute state in here. So it just goes to show that you can transform a room on a budget. I don't know how much this cost total, but it wouldn't have been that much, probably around a thousand pound, like for everything. So yeah, that's the office. <sighs> If you like it, leave a thumbs up in the, oh, the comment way, section. Guys, not pregnant. One person pointed out in the last video that I was extremely bloated because guess what? Girls have periods, let's man. See, let's see, are you bloated now? Oh no, she shredded. Right, so at this point, if you've clicked to just see The Office, we would love for you to stay and watch the rest of the video, spend the weekend with us. But whilst I was on her run, I had to do some blue jobs, as she calls them, such as de-weed in the garden and get this. This bloody pump thing, I was thinking it was broken because the water was barely coming out. It took me ages. Well, as you'll see later in the video when Ellen chose me, I was just using it completely wrong. Anyway, the boys woke up and we had some fun in my office. <laughs> He's just come into my office like this. <laughs> Have you got mummy's boots on? And your bunny ears? I think this is Al back from a run. Hello. Oh. <laughs> what on the roof? Oh, sick. So this is what Al has chosen this week. I think these are all ones that we've had before. Creamy chicken in peppercorn sauce. 
Alumi flatbreads, these are absolutely incredible. The sauce is amazing. And speedy butter chicken naan. I don't think we've had this one before, but that looks incredible too. Nice thing about HelloFresh is it's super easy. The bags come with a number on, and then that number corresponds to your card. And then on the back, you've got all your steps to make the food. The reason we keep using HelloFresh is because number one, it is cost effective. The meals are actually really affordable. There's no waste, meaning you're not overbuying on ingredients that you're not going to use again. Two, there's meals for every day of the week, as well as your convenient quick ones. Like we like choosing from the speedy recipes because obviously we've got the boys, we've got a family, we want to get stuff made quick. Then we also choose some more like indulger recipes for when we've got more time on the weekend or when the boys are away and that I'm going to cook dinner for Al. I'll put up a clip of tonight's dinner because I think we're going to have the creamy chicken with the peppercorn sauce. And yeah, this is one of our favorites and the boys actually love it too. So that is a bonus that we can cook it for the whole family and it just saves having to cook different meals there. We can get you a huge saving. We will put it on the screen if you want to take advantage of that. And you also get free desserts for life they send you goo cheesecakes which are absolutely awesome we love them so whether you've got a family or you're just on your own and you want to kind of branch out and cook some different meals then i would definitely recommend trying hello fresh use our code and click the link in the description to get money off meanwhile ellen is like a pretzel you're actually really flexible aren't you not as flexible as i used to be but yeah can you do the splits anymore go on do you want to see my version of the splits <laughs> After stretching, I jumped in the bath and look who wanted to join. See, I'm in the bath with mummy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and pop, there's another toddler. Are you in the bath with mummy? We have a section of skateboarding this evening, so I'm going to be putting the boys to bed on my own. He said he popped down to the skate park earlier. Well, he did pop down to the skate park earlier. It was just full of like children on scooters and stuff. So not the safest to be skateboarding around children. So he's gone this evening. The boys are actually just watching a little bit of telly or having a scrap. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's I'm going to tidy up the kitchen because it is a complete mess. And I always like to do this before I take the boys up. So I'm going to really quickly do this and then it'll be time for bath time. skip baths tonight for like the first time since the boys have been born. This sums up toddlerhood to an absolute T. My running hat on backwards. They actually really love wearing hats. What are you listening to? These were like one of the best buys, by the way, guys. They always listen to music for their headphones. So do you. Do you want to tumble? Yeah. What song is it? Big Boss. Should we get some down there? Yeah, it goes in there, look. Pirates this morning. Show us your pirate noises. After breakfast, we went out for a Sunday walk at the Gruffalo Trail with some friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 You got my hat. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> right, we are back from the Gruffalo Trail. That was good, wasn't it? Always enjoyed it. They are knackered and asleep now. Al has been food chopping. So we're just putting the food chopping away now. And then Ellen's sister, her girlfriend, Sophie, are coming over to cut the boys hair and have a catch up so yeah they're well overdue a haircut aren't they <laughs> they're like they've got proper long hair now so i'm excited they always look like a year older when they've had their hair cut and basically guys what i'm doing here by filming is just getting it's out of putting the food dropping away that is an absolute nightmare when he needs to do something he'll just pick up the camera and start filming it <laughs> no i will actually you help you i will help you now nah, look at this you know i was outside doing the weed killer yesterday i was doing it wrong this is how it's meant to be done. Well, I, seriously, I was do I was pump like, but I was out. Oh, I was literally pumping, and little tiny bits were coming out. It took me about an hour to do this patch. Anyway, boys are awake now, so I'm gonna try something I've not tried before: taking them in the garage to train with me. Oh, really, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Watch this, boys. One, two, three. such a weird environment right now. What is going on? <laughs> Soap's cutting Noah's hair. <laughs> Ellen's getting her armpits waxed. <laughs> it pulls, doesn't it? Now you know how I feel. Yeah, Boy, Noah. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm regret my No, 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 no. That's, that's the worst part. That's the worst part. My eyes. Oh! oh. We want a mullet today, so. Yeah, Is that alright? Yeah, so no more. Mohican. Mohican. Yes. Titty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fresh trims. Woo! Look at Daddy Ari. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah boy. boy. <laughs> and then I cooked us all a roast dinner, the perfect way to end a Sunday. Right, guys, that is the end of the video. There's no Ari today. Auntie, Auntie. Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Where's Where's Ari? Ari. Yeah, where, where is, is Ari? he? Oh, He's at Nanny's, Nanny's house because Noah's poorly. He's got a sicky bug, so he stayed home with us today. It's Thursday when Ari and Noah usually go to my mum's, but we got you and me today. Hmm. Poorly Bean, but he's all right. He's in high spirits with his party rings. <laughs> Who are you having a party with? Kirk. Kirk? Who's Kirk? Kirk. Mummy's Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've made it to the end, what should they do, Noah? Yeah. Say like and subscribe. Yeah. There you go. And if that doesn't make you like and subscribe, I don't know what will. <laughs> oh, no thanks, darling. I don't want your sick. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next week.